Welcome to the overview of session one, the kickoff. This session has a primary focus on entrepreneurial, analytical, collaboration, and listener skills. My name's Greg Twemlow. I'm the CEO of Seven Mile Limited, a not-for-profit based in Sydney. This first of eight sessions has three main goals. One, students meet business owners and hear about the background of the business and the problem that needs to be solved. Two, business owners spend time with their team and answer questions. The team works to establish rapport with their business owner. Three, facilitators ensure each team has a clear understanding of the difference between a symptom and a problem. Facilitators need to ensure that all team members take notes that can be consolidated and easily accessible in the other sessions. In this session, the facilitator's role is to help the students ask open questions to ensure they understand the nature of the business and appreciate the impact of the problem on the company. Here are seven examples of open questions that ensures everyone that in the team can ask at least one question. One, how would you describe the impact of the problem? Two, what is the sense of urgency to implement a solution? Three, how have you tried to solve the problem? Four, why do you think you have not solved the problem so far? Five, what is the annual cost of not solving the problem? Six, what will be the impact if we help to solve the problem? Seven, can you tell us who your three main competitors are? One method of ensuring the team is qualified that the problem is not just a symptom is the 5Y method. Toyota Motor Corporation developed the 5Y technique in the 1960s, and it's an essential element of design thinking which is vital in knowing how to use empathy, the first step in establishing rapport. Empathy helps put yourself in the business owner's shoes to use their lens to see the problem from their eyes, not yours. When you use techniques like the 5Y method, you better understand the problem and gain valuable insight into the business owner's emotions related to the issues they're dealing with. The 5Y method allows you to analyze problems at a deeper level, moving from explicit I have to reduce my costs to implicit. If I don't mitigate some costs, my business can't invest in new products or may even have to close. Using the 5Y technique helps show your business owner that you are interested in their business. More importantly, you want to develop a clear understanding of the problem impacting their business. The concept is simple but very informative. The team can ask why up to about five times for the business owner to agree on the core issue. And here's an example exchange. A business owner of a physiotherapy practice provides an example that will help you understand that what appears to be a problem is either a symptom or maybe even a solution. The owner has stated, my problem is that I don't understand how to use social media to help me connect with more potential new customers. Students could ask, why do you need to connect with more potential new customers? The answer, well, I need a constant supply of people who could become customers so I can increase our revenue and remain viable. Students, why don't you have enough new customers? Business owner answers, I'm too busy, I'm not a marketing person, and my staff are qualified physiotherapists, so they aren't salespeople. Students ask, why will social media solve the problem? The answer, well, I'm not certain it will, but I know other business owners who say it works well. Students ask, so, it seems the problem is not enough new connections with people who might become customers and social media could be part of the solution. The business owner answers, yes, that's correct. 
My actual problem is finding ways to let more people know that we can solve their sports injuries and to convert their interest into booking an appointment. The students respond, okay, thanks. That helps us focus on possible solutions. In this example, the students have been able to get to the heart of the real problem and that social media could be part of the solution, but it isn't the problem. The problem is finding ways to connect with potential customers every month and convert them to paying customers. So it's actually a dual problem. In this case, the team will use session two to focus on one of the two issues. And that concludes the explanatory video for EITC session one.